Hey everyone, <clears throat> how are you? Me again. Um, so it's been about a month since I updated you, so things have changed. About two weeks ago, I ended up sick again. <sighs> My mental illness, seriously, that sucks. I go through like a cycle where like, I'm fine for maybe two weeks or three weeks and then I get sick for two and so anyway was in hospital this time um, normally I'm only in there for about five days but because I was extremely flat um, not up and down for those of you who don't know I have borderline personality disorder it means you go up and down in your mood so for me, I had been really flat for about two weeks and couldn't get myself out of it. And the Friday that I took myself to hospital, I was like, oh, I feel really weird in the head and something's not right. So I'm going to go get it checked out. So they continued for the first week and it was all right. I wasn't getting much better. And then I had a review with my psych and he suggested a different medication. Um, so I'm on a new antidepressant and I've got to say it's working well. Um, my stress is still quite high, but my depression, my anxiety, my suicidal thoughts, idealization to hurt myself hasn't been there. Um, and I've been out of hospital for one and a half days now and I slept good last night late but good um so anyway so before I left hospital um because I want to get out of this cycle and the nurses and the psychiatrists want me to stay out of hospital as well because I've been in and out since I was 19 so a long time I've had over like probably 50 admissions between 19 and now 28 so anyway um so before i left hospital we got into a program with new horizons called hospital to home so i'll get a phone call next week and i set up two two appointments um so two hours a week that someone can come get me um <laughs> take me out to the beach for a coffee just be like a mentor and so that happens for 12 weeks and then I go into their longer term program where they can help me with budgeting finances shopping house cleaning cooking socialization skills all that stuff and then I'm waiting for a position in on track so on track is where you first go to a group house so at the moment there's quite a lot of mail so that's not gonna work so we're waiting till next year hopefully by February I'm in on track so you're going to group house for six weeks and then after that you either stay there or you can move on to individualized departments where you and someone else from the group house go stay together and then you don't have a worker live with you, but they come check up on you three times a week. So between that and hospital to home and another program called Hassie, there's pretty much a, not a day that I won't be left without support. So this is all gonna happen next year because I was gonna go to Destiny Haven and they said I could go in January. So I'd been accepted, but I spoke to my psych and he's like, you don't really need a year's rehab what you need is stability and so having the stability with the program and once I get into the group housing and then the individualized housing that's gonna give me stability for two years I know where I'm living I know what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis Wednesdays a Wednesday's cooking day Thursday cleaning Friday shopping you know things like that um, so that's where things are sitting at the moment with me and I would love to be more active on YouTube but unfortunately I met my parents and 
uh, uses a lot of data, so I miss everyone, I miss all your videos. So anyway, if you want to catch up with my life, I am on Facebook uh, as J-O-D-I-B-R-A-Z-E-L, J-D Brazzle. I'm also on Instagram as Chickabee, C-H-I-C-A-B-E-E-89, no gap. Um, I'd love to see what you guys have been getting up to. It's really hot. I'm going to go jump in the pool, finish my coffee, and I've got some Christmas shopping done today, so yay, I'm stoked, I'm super prepared, two more people to buy gifts for, and that's it, I'm done, peace out, have a good day, bye.